again, pajama man. Yes, Dr. Grime. Your nefarious forces of refuse have once again been overcome by those of good and cleanliness. For, For I, I am Pajama Man, man. Friend, friend of the, the good, foe of evil. evil. Pajama Man! Pajama Man! Gee, that was an exciting episode. Pajama Man is the greatest. Oh well, I'm gonna turn off the TV. Stay tuned for an important news flash. Pajama Man fans everywhere can meet Pajama Man in person. Today only, Pajama Man will be signing autographs at a shopping mall near you. Wow! I can go meet Pajama Man and get his autograph. Oh boy! <laughs> Pajama Man and get his autograph. Mom, the TV said Pajama Man's at the mall and he's signing autographs so we can go meet him. If you can drive, you can go. Can we go? Mom? Okay, calm down, Sam. I guess I have a few things I could get at the mall. Why don't you go up to your room and pick out something for your hero to sign? I'll make up my shopping list. Oh, boy. Thanks, Mom. I know an autograph is just somebody writing their name. But if I'm going to meet Pajama Man, I've got to have just the right thing for him to sign. And I know just what that is. Oops, I think I knocked over some stuff. I should probably put some of this stuff away. Mm, this is later. I want Pajama Man to sign my best comic book. My rare first issue of Pajama Man, which is... Not here? Oh, no. My mint condition extra collectible Pajama Man issue number one is gone. My favorite comic book is missing. There it goes. Something or someone pulled it down into that big pile of junk. I don't know what nefarious forces are at work here, but I gotta get my comic book back. This is a job for... Pajama Sam! All I need is my cape. Oh, oh boy. All right, welcome to this week's, well, nothing in particular. I just really wanted to round off the Pajama Man series with uh, the fourth one. This is Pajama Sam. Life is rough when you lose your stuff. It's been panned critically, but let's give it a fair shake and see if it's any good. Uh, for starters, though, it's not running in scum, which has thrown me for a wobbler since I don't have the uh, usual scum controls, but we do have... Options indeed. I thought the music was a touch loud. Let's drop you down a bit, and otherwise we'd be good. Hit so save. choose which slot to save your game. In. Now type the name of your game, then hit enter. Yeah, thanks a bunch. Obviously, the voice actor has changed, and it's no longer Bobby Hill. He either hit puberty or took up smoking or something. Uh, however you cut it, though, we just got to eat that and get going. We'll get the timer going as well. Not that it means anything, but it would be good to track how long this takes compared to the others. Now, we need our cape, but as ever, we're going to click on everything that we see. Because a staple of these Pajama Sam games has been the awesome animations that there are. Hooray! I found my cape! I didn't even think that was your cape. Now to go after my comic book. Be wary, doers and stealers of stuff. Here comes Pajama Sam. <laughs> Ta-da! Hello, little sock. My name's Sam. Hi, Sam. You sound sad. Is everything okay? Well, now that you mention it, no. What's wrong? 
Is it something I could help you with? It's a sad situation. I suppose the best way to explain it is this. A sock out on his own is like a sea without a shore. And cause I got some mud on me, I can't get in my drawer. A sock out on his own is just one out of a pair. I miss my matching sock so bad it fills me with despair. They say there's no place for me amongst the clean because I'm dirty. I know none of them can see inside. Having a little dirt on you is not such a bad thing, is it? Inside my heart is truly free from dirt and filth and food debris. But what good is a spotless heart when we are a pair apart? We're all pairs. We're all pairs. We'll always be together. The world is fine. The world is fine. The sun will shine forever in the sky. We're all alone. It's strange to see. We guess it must deserve. To be part of a pair la, 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 la. has been my noble goal. La, 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 la. Alone I'm less than la, 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 la. Together more than home. La, 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 la. They say there's no place for me amongst the clean because I'm dirty. I know none of them can see inside. Inside my heart is truly free from dirt and filth and food debris. But what good is a spotless heart when we're a pair? Now do you understand my position? I think so. You're sad because you can't be together with the other blue sock, because you're dirty and the other one's clean. Right. Now you're starting to think like a sock. We clothes get very sad when we're not in pairs. Hats don't come in pairs. That's why you never see a happy hat. Oh. Well, why don't you come along with me? Maybe I can help get you and the other sock back together. Do you really mean that? Pajama Sam is on the job. I'm missing something I care about very much, too. My Pajama Man comic book. I saw a comic book. An old half-eaten cheese sandwich came by here just a little bit ago carrying a comic. He said somebody named Dr. Grime was signing autographs at the Grubby Corners Mall, and he wanted this Dr. Grime to sign it. Oh my gosh! I have to find it! If Dr. Grime touches it, it'll be filthy forever! Come on, little sock! I have to find the Grubby Corners Mall! Okay, I'll be honest, we're not off to a good start with this, but uh, we're giving it a fair shot, so let's keep on going. We'll grab the gold grubby sock there, and... Okay, I... I need to find the grubby corners mall. This animation is uh, certainly lacking something, isn't it? Alright, let's kill and keep moving. Perhaps whoever set up Pajama Sam as a punishment game was playing the long game. They knew I'd get hooked, Jeez, stumble into the fourth one. Forgot to eat the last of their cereal. And, uh, yeah. Hey, one of my Pajama Man trading cards. I'd better pick that up. Dust Devil. Dust Devil is one of the fall weather men. I could print it, but Dust I could also not. Oh, you gonna Dust tell me about it? Dust Devil is one of the foul weather men. He has the power to blow people around, and also he makes them cough if they inhale a little of him. He can blow down houses of straw, houses of sticks, and even houses of brick. But to Pajama Man, Dust Devil is just a big blowhard. Fun fact, Dust Devil collects chamois cloths. What is a chamois cloth? I quite like the new Pajama Man voice, so I'm not gonna lie there, but the delivery is... Lacking. Whoa! Hey. All right. Much like the old rock puzzle from before, we're gonna launch Whoa. ourselves, I think, or launch this uh, this nasty old banana. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, there's a yo-yo. I could use a new yo-yo. Hmm, I think it's sort of stuck. Maybe I can yank it free. Oops. Well, at least I got half a yo-yo. Too bad it's not the half that spins. Oh well, I might as well save the string. It could come in handy at any time. I never know when I might be faced with a string emergency. Don't know what PJ Sam was thinking he could do with a three foot wide yo-yo, but that's, uh, that's where he beats me in imagination. Well, I get to drive it, but they won't let me take it home at night. Aww. Yeah, the boss has a policy about not letting us borrow anything that can be used to knock down his house. What's this crane used for? Well, it's supposed to be used for clearing that junk over there. But one of the control levers got busted and lost. I can move the crane this way. And this way. But without the other lever, I can't pick up that stuff. And it's just piling up. I'll keep my eyes peeled for something we can use as a lever. Thanks a bunch. The sooner I get the crane fixed, the sooner I can go on my coffee break. Lever needed here. All right. I'll let you know when I have something. The sudsy water can't get past this debris. Lever needed here. All right. I'll let you know when I have something. There's something so dead feeling about them moving when they're talking. Hmm. What the? What in the world are you? Hello. I'm Sam. Why, what a nice young man you are. I'm Grandma Sweater. I'm almost through with this copy of Knitting Weekly if you want to borrow it. No, thank you. I don't knit. You don't knit? Oh, that's a shame. In the good old days, everyone liked to knit. Hello. 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 My name's Sam. What are your names? Hello. 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 Can't you say anything else? Hello. 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 You know, I think there's something wrong with those clothes. My name's Sam. What are your names? Hello. Would you have any yarn I might knit with? I'm sorry, but I don't have any yarn. Oh, phooey. You must like to knit a lot. Young man, when you're my age, you only like three things. Ribbon candy, applesauce, shuffleboard, and canasta. But that's four things. Well, then I'll give up canasta. Oh, if only I could go back to the good old days when everything was clean and yarn was a penny a ton. Grandma said she needs yarn. That piece of yo-yo string won't work. I don't want to get into trouble. Now, hang on, I see that card, and I'm having it back. So, what's with this? We go up here, step one, and then poof, change to place, just like that. That feels a bit odd. There's feels a, a bit card. phoned in. Criminals cower when they see the pajama mobile on the horizon. Wonderful. Let's keep on going. Another card! Dr. Crime is Pajama Man's oldest and dirtiest enemy. There are so many peanuts in that bag. I bet nobody would notice if one was missing. Ah, oh, the peanut. The misunderstanding. 
understood nut. Fireflies are fun to watch. Maybe it's because they're so easy to see. They glow in the dark. Those fireflies sure are pretty. They glow like night lights. I'm pretty sure that's not going to work. Those fireflies remind me of Christmas lights. Except that they're flying around. Look at all the drawers in this dresser. It's a long way up to the top. No, oh, so hang on. Start climbing. How and when did we get to this dresser? Uh. Hope mom doesn't catch me climbing on the furniture. They call me the dresser climber. I'm a climbing fool. Is this the prequel to Catherine? Yay! Look at all the drawers in this dress. Yay! Look at all the drawers in this dresser. Get your ass it's up a there, Sam. Up to the top. Guess I'd better start climbing. I see. You gotta have them popped out. Shiny, too. Wow, what a cool fire truck. I love fire trucks. Hmm, from here I have a great view of the bottom of the fish tank. I don't think this is as high as the ladder can go. Fire truck's a lot cooler than my dad's brown car. That's a big fire truck and shiny too. It would be fun to get into that big water tank. I'd need to find a way to get over the glass though. That fish net would be useful for catching any sort of critter smaller than me. I'm sure glad I'm not a sponge. Wow, what a cool... I don't think this is as high as the ladder can go. Okay, that seems to be about all I can do here with what I have thus far. There'll be some way to open this thing up, right? Ooh, a pajama man trading card. Captain Gelatin is a founding member of the Lunchboxers. Ah, we saw him in a uh, previous game. Or uh, I think it was the second one, right? Down we jump. Amazingly not breaking uh -huh. ourselves. Cardboard Woman is the most two-dimensional villain Pajama Man ever fought. <laughs> Christ. Okay, back to where we started. Can we just run up here? Oh yeah, same way. feel the connectivity between the areas is a bit lost, just a bit. So over there to the drawer, over here is to the crane that we don't have the thing for. 
Hey, this might work, right? Here, take this. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. Okay, use a peanut then. Boo. What was up here again? Yeah, you want yarn, but I don't have any yarn. Hmm. Is there something I'm missing here then? Jake, how's this game stacking up against the others so far? Poorly, but the others are very, very good. This one we've only just started with. That fire truck's a lot cooler than my dad's brown. That's a big fire truck. I uh, can't see my way in here just yet. I can't climb a smooth glass wall. I'll need to find some other way to get in that tank. I'm not really sure how this could be extended, and it's not giving me anything to do with these. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, I'm 98% sure I clicked on that thing three times, but hey-ho. Right! I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. Hi, Sponge! Oh, hi, Sam. Do you have any mold for me to eat? No, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't even have a cheese sandwich. If you see any, will you come back and get me? I so love mold. You got it. And perhaps this moldy old sock will do. Now that's just silly. <laughs> that's not going to do me any good. Hey look, another trading card. Lightning is a big meanie who tries to scare people by making bad weather. Well, we have quite a few of these to pick up, I see. Direct, not seeing any way to get... Ah, surely I'd be able to scoop this thing out one way or another, right? I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. Have to. Disappointing. <laughs> Juniper Theory is saying, if you want to read why this game is like it is, I recommend reading the Humongous Entertainment Wikipedia page. Could you give us the TLDR on it? That sparkly clean jar would be good for keeping things in. It's got a lid and everything. Looks like we're grabbing ourselves some Firefly. Now, where's Mal? I don't recall needing anything lit up, but uh, we'll take it anyway. It wouldn't be nice to put the Fireflies in my jar until I make some holes in the lid. They uh, need holes so they can breathe. They'd survive long enough. Hmm. That wouldn't be very nice. I can't use that here. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. I imagine if I get what's her face her yarn, she'll give me her uh, her stick things, and then I can poke holes with that. Those things there, the knitting needles. So the question is, where can I get some yarn? The sudsy water can't get past this debris. I bet there would be a pretty view from here if that pile of junk wasn't spoiling the view. Hmm. Oh. Another card! Evil underwear is tight and binding and crawls up behind people in an effort to snare them in its elastic grip. Ooh. <laughs> Grim for kids there. Among other things, they tried to buy it back to make cool games again. The day before they put up the money, the dot-com bubble burst, and they lost everything. Uh -huh. Sucks to be them. Milkman was once an ordinary dairy farmer, until he drank some weird milk from his cow. Ooh. <laughs> Don't want or need to know more there, Sam. Thanks. Right, surely there'd be some yarn down here, right? Uh, but I already got the bottle here. I'd be surprised if there was anything more. Uh, not seeing it. 
Or did I miss anything back here? Yes, yes I did. That was a triple fork in the road. There's an ice cube over there. It hasn't melted yet. Ooh, a Pajama Man trading card. The serious bowler is a constant thorn in Pajama Man's side. He likes bowling. He only likes bowling. All right, let's see if we can't get ourselves that ice cube. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. What a shame. What a weird swamp. It looks like someone spilled their soda pop here. Maybe I can wait across. Ew! It's all gooey and gucky. This spilled soda pop is a real mess. It's too yucky for me to wade through. Well, maybe. Just maybe. That's not something I can put in my jar. Uh... That's not meant to wash clothes in. You could at least try. Come on, kiddo. <laughs> I quite like the new voice, I uh, really. I'm just saying the delivery is not quite there. It says, Welcome to Grubby Corners. The mall must be that way. Hey, look! Another trading card! Is it just me or are they easier to spot? Scott Brothers is not just a scientist, he's a super scientist. Dr. Brothers is the head of SHMO. The sign says, Gone Fishing. Uh, what do we have here, other than yet another card? <laughs> There's a trading card. Darkness is one scary dude. He can creep up on you at night. He's real sneaky and likes to hide in the shadows. Hey, now Darkness was one cool character when we met him. Don't know what they're getting on with here. Hello, I'm Sam. I'm very pleased to meet you. I am Nutcracker. I crack any and all nuts easily and efficiently. My. But you have big, shiny teeth. Everyone in my family has such big teeth. Even a little babushkas. <sighs> hey there, Mr. Nutcracker. My name is Sam, and I have a nut that needs opening. Yes, comrade. I can open any nut. I have opened the nuts for all crowned heads of Europe. Here it is. Thank you much. Peanut is delicious. Here is leftover shell. I'd put it in my scrapbook if I had one. But I don't. So I'll just keep it in my pocket. Well, what am I meant to make of that? Once again, the game is driving home its political commentary. That looks like a wad of funny putty. You can do all kinds of stuff with that. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Mr. Nutcracker. I oh, thank you. It was hard to breathe under such goop. Hey, look. It made a copy of your face. I guess Funny Putty really can copy a picture of anything. So can a box of crayons in hands of an artist. Yeah, but crayons don't stretch. Point taken. I guess Funny Putty truly is toy with thousand uses. I'm at a loss there, but uh, can I do it again? I've got some Funny Putty. It looks a little like gum. But Hi, I used to be a balloon before I popped. Do you have any balloon glue? I'm sorry, 
I've never heard of balloon glue. Oh. Hello. Um, do you know you've got plants all over you? Yes, I'm a beanbag doll. I'm full of beans. It's too bad that someone spilled water on me. Ew. Hi, my name's Sam. Hi, Sam. I'm Balsa. Did you hurt your wing? Yeah, I banged it up a while ago. It can't be fixed. Does that mean you can't fly anymore? Actually, I never could fly. Why not? Because I only cost 39 cents. Hi. What kind of toy are you? I'm a Bake Master 5000. Hey, my Aunt Beth got me a Bake Master 5000 once. I tried to cook a toasted cheese sandwich in it. I left it in there for days, and it never did cook. What can you cook? Well, you can cook cupcakes and cookies and brownies if you buy the special packets of cupcake or cookie or brownie mix. What about broccoli? They don't make special packets of broccoli mix. Fine by me. Those numbers on your front, are they stickers or buttons? They're sort of both. My mom has a microwave oven where the five button broke. So we can't cook anything that takes five minutes. That's inconvenient. It's no big deal. We just buy TV dinners that take six minutes. Ding! Your brownie is ready. Just kidding! What can you cook? Can I climb up there and look at your controls? Don't touch me! I'm just made of flimsy balsa wood. If you touched me, I'd fall apart. Where does balsa wood come from? Ever seen an elephant use its trunk to carry a log around? Well, balsa wood is so light that they use mice to carry the lumber. That's silly. I know. I wish I were one of those classy toy planes made out of teak or mahogany. You don't see many planes that aren't painted. I'm just a plain plane. Can I climb up there and look at your controls? Are those beans going to grow into magical beanstalks? Nah. About all they'll do is get little blooming bean flowers, and that'll attract bean bees. I heard that bees are good for plants. Yeah, but just because I got plants growing out of me doesn't mean I have to like bees. What type of beans are you filled with? I don't know. Maybe they're human beans. Nah, I'm not human. I'm just a doll. So maybe they're doll beans. That makes sense. Please don't stare at my stalks. Are those beans going to grow into magical bean stalks? Nah. About all they'll do is get little blooming bean flowers, and that'll attract bean bees. I... Why did you pop? I was playing with Kitty, and there was something sharp that I hit. There was a loud pop. I hope I didn't scare Kitty. My kitty likes to play with balloons, too. I used to be full of helium, and I could fly. Is that why your voice is so squeaky? <laughs> what do you mean? I used to be a big balloon. This is extremely unsettling, so I'm glad we've exhausted the dialogue hey, options here. Another trading card. Blooming heck. Fizzy Poppins is the carbonated villain who incapacitates people by giving them gas. Nasty. Alright, we got ourselves our peanut thing. I wonder if it's big enough to float across the purple goo in. Either way, let's move on a bit. Ugh. Wow, ah. is it ever dark in here? I am most likely going to need to come back here with the, uh, the fireflies in the bottle. All right, cheers for this area. Away we go. Uh, I think the the areas don't really connect well here, do they? Probably doesn't help that there's no real animation between them. It just uh, turns and then clip new area. Brelic's just hoping for the track and fake out, you and me both. Pajama 
Man is the flannel-garbed guardian of Metro City and is the bravest and best-dressed crime fighter around. He never takes off his pajamas, not even in the bathtub. His only weakness is that he is vulnerable to open trap doors. Excuse me, how late is the mall open today? My comic book is in there and I have to get it back. This mall? Always open. 24 hours a day. That's very convenient. Yes, but rules strictly enforced. No shirt, no shoes, no socks, no service. Got it? No shirt? Yes, no shirt. You got no shirt, therefore no service. You won't be going to the mall till you get a shirt. I'm wearing pajamas. Is that close enough? The rules are very specific. Shirt required. Can I go in if I promise to buy something? Not unless you follow the rules. Sorry, kid. I don't make the rules. I don't bend the rules. I just enforce the rules. Look, either get a shirt, some shoes, some socks, or don't come in. It's a very busy day here today. Very busy indeed. Why is the mall so busy today? That Dr. Grime guy is having a signing and talking to kids. These kids who live here, they really like this Dr. Grime. I wouldn't know the details. I'm just a guard. Oh. Yes. Oh. It says, Grubby Corners Mall. My comic book should be somewhere inside. <laughs> okay, if that had turned into mold, then maybe I could have brought it for the sponge guy, but no. Uh, hang on, hang the heck on. Was there something here? Not really. Well, that's two out of three extremes checked out. Uh, or so I thought. Oh, right, no, we've done this. But perhaps we can float along on this. As ridiculous as the notion is. Preparing to launch Peanut Boat. This is Pajama Sam, captain of SS Peanut, ready to sail. Uh, it, uh, okay. That looks like a big slingshot. There's a trading card. The Earthquaker first appeared in issue number 223, Don't Rain on My Parade. He makes earthquakes. I imagine this is used somehow with the slingshot. Can I drag that over? Wait, what? What did you just do? You ran, you jumped, you couldn't climb, you dropped, and then... I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Pajama Sam, defender of the weak and Very strange. I don't get it, but I'm not sure I want to. Let's get out of here. Hello? My name's Sam. What do you do? I am a bishop. Don hat. What kind of hat is that? They call it a mitre. I call it a nuisance. Once it fell off and poked me in the toe. That's a really interesting hat. All of us bishops have them. We get them at the big and tall hat store. I've never seen a hat that pointy before. Thank you. I try to stay sharp. Enough to poke holes, even. I've got a jar lid here. Do you think you could punch me some holes? I'm sort of busy playing this game at the moment. But if thou waitest until after I am captured, I can poke holes in thine jar lid when I am on the sidelines. Hello? Oh. I think the lights are on, but nobody's home. If you catch my drift. Oh. 
Uh, I think he's a bit uh, in a bit of a pickle. A very angry queen and angry rook ready to destroy him. But one wonders how uh, how the rook even ends up in this position. With, uh, well, I don't know which side he would have come from, but however you cut it, it's strange. Ooh, a pajama man trading card. They may look cute, but these pasty little critters are malevolent milk molecules, and they're pure greasy hate. Hello. What do you do? I'm a pawn. What does a pawn do? Mostly, I just wait to get captured. Does being captured hurt? No. We just have to sit on the bleachers until the game's finished. It's actually kind of relaxing. Does being captured hurt? No. Hello, little guy. I'm Sam. I'm a pawn. Are pawns important in chess? We must be. We're the ones the other players capture first. What's a pawn's favorite song? Way down upon the Pawnee River. What's a pawn's favorite song? <coughs> nice horsey. How many games of chess have you played? I can't understand a thing he says. Does this belong to you? Ah! <laughs> Why, how did that get there? I say, thank thee, young man. Thanks a lot. I can't get over how pointy and sharp your hat is. True. I now have all the time in the world to use it, shouldest thou ever needest holes poked in anything. Right, that's quite enough of you. Let's get the holes poked and get out of here. Let's get the holes poked. There we go. Do you think you could poke holes in my jar lid now? <sighs> Certainly. Ow! My head! I think I'd better stop now. That's plenty of holes. Thank you, Mr. Bishop. <laughs> Hello? I think the lights are on, but nobody's home. If you catch my drift. Oh. Hello. My name is Sam. Just Sam? I'm Pajama Sam. Hmm. Members of the royal family do not associate with normal people like you. Her Royal Highness the Queen only talks to fellow royalty. And then only with an engraved invitation. What does that mean? It means you won't be talking to her. Oh. Hey, Queenie. Hmm. I think that's a subtle hint. The queen doesn't like to talk to commoners. Hi there. Is that a real crown? Well, the king is too busy to speak with you. Yes, dear. May I please talk to the king? Let me think a second. No. I get the feeling this conversation's going nowhere. Once again, anti-monarchist vibes from this profoundly uh, communist piece of work. It all started with his bloomin' carrots. Okay, uh, where did we go? Were we there or there? Ah, uh, what? A shoe tree. Hey, this tree is full of shoes. I guess it's a shoe tree. <laughs> I wonder if they stay up there all the time. Hello? Shoes? Can you hear me up there? Hello? The guard said I needed shoes. Wish I could think of some way to get them down. That's the biggest shoehorn I've ever seen. I bet it's really, really loud. <sighs> It's all clogged up. Ew, it's full of mold. No wonder it tastes funny. 
Another card! The Pajama Pewter is Pajama Man's super powerful computer. It's over 10 times as powerful as an ordinary computer. I'm not putting my lips on that again while it's so moldy. That is quite disgusting. Can we fish out the mold? I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. How about with this? I don't think that's a good place to use funny putty. I don't think that's going to work. He just never even tries, does he? I wonder what would make those shoes come down. Yeah, a loud noise will probably get him down, but how I'm going to clear the mold out of there, I don't know. But we'll figure it out, at the very least. I still want to use this, but how? Can I grab this with a string? Here goes. I can't believe Sam's dead. Interesting, but uh, for what purpose? All right, yes. Well, at least we have a bit of a, a bit of a hint to go with if we grab the flies and the. Hang on, what? Hello. Well, howdy there. My name's Sam. They call me the Happy Farmer. Nice day, isn't it? I guess so. It's as nice as any other. And that's pretty darn nice in my book. Some days it rains. Them days is nice too. I have to put on my wrapper then, but rain is nice. Rain's good for my crops. What sort of crops do you grow? Spaghetti and breadsticks. I don't have much space, you see, but that's nice too. It doesn't take as long to plow the field. But lately, I switched to raising these bunnies. They're so cute. What kind of bunnies are they? Well, them's dust bunnies. They're fun to raise, and they raise me a nice profit. I'm supposed to be able to shave them once a week and sell their wool. That's if I can ever catch them. It would be nice to catch them. Here, little bunny, those bunnies are really shy. How do you raise dust bunnies? Well, you don't raise them so much as you neglect them. The more you ignore them, the more of them there are. That's weird. Nice and weird. So, I need to catch some so that I can use them as yarn, maybe? Get hustling. Yeehaw! At last a little bunny, partner. Much obliged, Sam. And look at here. All the other bunnies are following. Wow, I must have lasted the main bunny. Yep, you done did good. Now let's get these bunnies ready for shaving. Well, that's dust bunny yarn for you. Thought you might like some yarn for helping me out with the bunnies. Now you look like you need a shave. Well, I'm sure this fuzz will come off the next time my horse Ginger licks me. Horses like to lick me for some reason. I wonder why. Well, at least it saves me the trouble of having to take baths. I think you got a little fuzz stuck on you. <laughs> That's fine by me. Now I know how to shave the bunny so I can sell their wool. Thank you so much for helping me get started with my bunny business. From now on, I'll shave them every week, and within a few years, I'll make hundreds of dollars. Isn't there an easier way to make money? Well, yeah, 
But it wouldn't involve Buzzy Bunny. Plot making yarn was going to be hard, but it looks easy. Wool goes in one end, and yarn comes out the other. It's as easy as falling off a log. More fun, too. This guy talks like uh, George from Mice and Men. Hey, look! Another trading card. The remote remover breaks into people's homes and steals their TV remotes as part of his dastardly plan to force them to watch infomercials. <laughs> oh, there's so much wrong with all of this. Yarn was going to be hard, but it looks easy. Wool goes in one end, and yarn comes out the other. It's as easy as falling off a log. Which isn't easy. Right. We got our yarn at least. I think we can proceed. I wonder if those things only appeared because I, um... Blah, because I what now? Because I flew over on the... The giant, um... Whatchamacallits? And the slingshot. Okay, some fresh fuzz bunny things for you. Here's some yarn. It's bunny yarn. Oh, that's the best kind. It's soft and silky and it knits real fast. I'll knit a shirt just for you. Um try it on. How? It's not that big. I have left at least one neck hole. Oh dear, this can't possibly fit you. But still, it's a very nice, um, shirt. I'm so sorry, young man. If only I had a pattern to work from, I know I could make you a fine shirt. I'll get you a pattern to work from. Does it have to be any particular kind of pattern? No, it has to show your specific size and shape. Of course. All right, I got something to work with there. And Noise says, Jake, I know you don't need me to tell you this, but do whatever you enjoy. Oh, that's how I live my life. Right, we could probably make a copy of ourselves here. This bunny putty really stretches. Let's see if I can stretch it to be as tall as me. <sighs> wow, now my bunny putty looks like me. All right, egoist, give it away, and let's get ourselves a nice, uh, nice shirt. That's quite a pattern you've got there. It's every bit as handsome as you. Ah, oh, <laughs> Thank you for bringing me such an excellent pattern. One shirt coming right up. Do you like it? It looks just great. Thanks for the compliment. I like your looks, too. Oh, it likes you. You're a perfect fit for me, and vice versa. Gosh, thanks a bunch, Grandma. You're welcome, young man. You look pretty comfy in your jammies right now, Sam. Why don't you just hold on to me for later? Sounds good. And she's keeping the copy for nefarious reasons, but that's okay, I guess. Thanks for the great shirt, Grandma. You are welcome, dear. Alright, let's skedaddly do. I didn't get her uh, tungsten tipped uh, knitting needles, sadly. I still don't have an answer for you, though. Hmm. Actually, come to think of it, I don't have something to go on right now. I don't have any mold, nor did I figure out a way to get the mold out of that uh, shoehorn. Ho ho. However, what we do have is this. It's firefly catching time. You will never get another it season. Like they're okay in there. Having a bee in your bonnet is bad, but having fireflies in your pocket. All right, let's go, go. I can't go that way. That's a big cliff. Hmm, how did we get down again? Of 
course. This isn't making a lot of sense to me, but uh, what do I know? It wasn't over there, was it? Here we go. I can't see a thing. I need something that will light up this place. Look, I've got a shadow. These fireflies are the brightest bugs I've ever seen. I think they like the gum. My fireflies want to flee. Fireflies, be free! I'll just leave this here for the fireflies to use as a home. How quaint. Right, we've got the that giant sucker. lollipop that we need. Wow, that is some sticky gum. Hmm. just not going to let me have that sucker. I'm going to have to find something to make the gum less sticky. That's, uh... Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, a pajama and trading card. It looks like a lunchbox, but it's actually a clever disguise for Pajama Man's portable bad guy containment unit. At Wonderful. The fireflies might want that for a house. I'd better leave it here. Right, um, maybe we can find a gym so that Sam can work out and not be such a weakling. But failing that, I don't think any of my items are gonna sit, uh, gonna help me out here. Mm -hmm. Nor would any of you. Where does Balsa Wood come from? Every and I don't think there was anything else to get here, was there? Ah, perhaps she'll let me in now that I have a shirt, at least, right? I think I'll hang on to this to show to the mall guard. I have a shirt. Nice shirt. Just like the dress code requires. Come back when you have shoes and socks to match. What a job's worth. Ah, uh, was there anything back here for me? Uh, ooh, a few uh -huh. things. Hero Sandwich is the leader of the lunch boxers. I never did go up here. Hello. Hi, my name is Sam. Sam, will you be my friend? It's very lonely being the only sock without a companion. Sure, little sock. I'll be your friend. I'm going to try to find a way to get your matching sock clean so that you can get back together. Oh, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. All in a day's work for a superhero. I brought a friend to see you. Hi. It's you. I thought I'd never see you again. I miss you plenty. How I wish I could be up there in the drawer with you, but I can't, I'm still all dirty. Sam, could you please take care of my friend until we can be reunited? Sure. Don't worry. We'll get you clean somehow. And then you can be with your friend again. Another card! 
Admiral Peanut Butter is a jewel thief who enjoys swiping things with his sticky fingers and has the power to stick to the roof of other people's mouths. Okay, coming up here didn't really get us anything of worth, did it? No. But if we come back here after cleaning up the socks, they'll probably be our socks. Which is disgusting the more you think about it, but that's okay. Perhaps we can wash them off in some of the water that we found. Like... Um... I mean, this is water, right? I don't want to get into trouble. Hmm. Or perhaps we could oven roast the sock. That wouldn't be very nice. I'm not saying it'd be nice, I'm saying it's a way forward. They are so little under all that fur. Also, didn't that farmer said he wants to make like a hundred dollars every few weeks? Well, as long as he's happy. I'm pretty sure that's not going to work. Ah, no, this clean water would surely help uh, wash the sock, but that doesn't help me get the... Doesn't... Well, doesn't help me getting the stick to do so. Pretty sure we're done here. Looks like we did everything here. So we can retract it and extend it. I don't know for what reasons, but... I know where there's a big bunch of mold just for you. Oh boy, mold. Come and get me, Sam. <laughs> Um. Hello. Bonjour, petit pajama person. I am Jacques Scuba, the famous underwater explorer. Aren't you getting soggy in there? This waterproof suit and me big helmet are keeping me high and dry. I am dry as a bone. Can you dive all the way to the bottom of the fish tank? There are not many other places I can go dressed like this. But in the fish tank, I am the well-dressed man about town. That makes sense, in a way. Exploring the underwater kingdom is my passion. I am married to the sea. I have no idea what you mean by that, but I think your big helmet's cool. Oui, it is the latest fashion in diver helmets. This suit is quite nice as well. He, he could be nice and get me mold man though. Do you know sponge? We. Oui. Sometimes this sponge will clean the mold off of the glass on my helmet. The sponge loves the mold. That is good because I do not like the mold. Do you think you could bring sponge to me? I know a certain place where there's plenty of mold for it. We. Oui. It would be my pleasure. Oh boy. Mold. Here I come. Here is the sponge. Thanks a bunch, Mr. Scubo. You're welcome. I am here whenever you want to hear of the beauty of the incredibly awe-inspiring underwater kingdom. Which is never again. Let's get out of here and get ourselves some shoes. Don't know how that'll help with the... Uh, the gum stuff, but... Where was that uh, shoe tree again? Oh, 
Oh, no, certainly not. like the taste of mold because I sure don't. I can see my reflection. I guess it's clean enough now. A long handle. They like me. I think I'll keep them. The mall guard will want to see these. Well, that's all well and good, but I still have one main thing I need to do, and that is get that uh, get that lever. But how? Also, that ice cube. Oh, we did grab it. Now, what am I meant to do with it? What could I do with it? I can't use that here. Hmm. <laughs> True leveler saying, I hope we never see the sponge again. My ice cube melted. Oh, does that mean I have a, a bunch of water? I don't think this melted ice cube is going to be of any use. I disagree, Sam. Let's go and uh, lube up that gum stuff. And we're well on our way to victory. That ice cube is all melted. I don't think it'll do much. It's not cold enough. Uh... When I got gum in my hair, Mom used to try all sorts of things to loosen it. Peanut butter, mayonnaise, ice. But the ice is what worked the best. But how will I keep the ice this long? Melted in a heartbeat. Or maybe it's just because I dosed around too much. Aha! Right, I just need to get there faster. Sometimes cold gum is less sticky. That did it all right. The giant lollipop is ours. Hold, hold on, hold on. <laughs> look at that again. There is something very wrong with Sam on the screen transition. <laughs> Jesus. I just uh, really phoned in the animation budget on this one. No, no, please no. Let's get away from you. Let's go and fix the uh, the JCB. On you go. This sucker is about the same size as the other lever. 
Don't look at me with disgust. Get to work. to work and stuff. Thanks a bunch for fixing it. You're welcome. And you fixed it just in time for my coffee break. How'd you like to keep an eye on the crane for a few minutes? Like to? I'd love to! Well, in you go. Okay, gotta make the trash go away. Uh, sure. Is it, uh, match three? Of course. And diagonally is not going to cut it then. Make three of the same kind of junk in a row. And click on the wild card. What does the wild card do? Nothing, it seems. Oh well, I'll just do it normally then. I gotta hurry and make three in a row. Okay, so I guess I'm on a timer thanks to uh, that the thing at the bottom. The steam getting dangerously low. I gotta hurry and make three in a row. Click on two pieces of junk that are next to each other to switch them. Click on the wild card. The stinko meter getting dangerously low. Ah, that's how the wild card works then. Okay, let's pick up the pace. This is pretty unfun, but what you gonna do? It's no, uh, it's no honey pop, that's for sure. Yay! I did it. Okay, it's very clearly a washing machine. Let's get you in there. Hey, look! I found you the biggest washing machine you ever saw. Wow, that is big and wet. And soapy. Geronimo! That felt good. I'm glad you liked it. It was fun to watch, too. I haven't been this clean since, well, I don't know when. I'll try not to get you dirty before I get you back with your friend. So we'll go and reunite him. Hopefully he'll sing another song. I'm sure someone hopes that. We won't say hello to the Frenchman ever again. my matching sock. I'm home. I'm so glad you're here. Are you clean enough to come in? Clean as a whistle. Hooray! <laughs> Sam, thanks a million for cleaning me. And thanks two million for bringing my best friend back. Sam, you're a great friend. Yes, Sam, you're a great friend. Thanks. Would you two like to go exploring with me? Well, okay, as long as we don't have to do any walking. And I haven't been out of that drawer in ages. Then hop into my pocket and we'll be off. I'll bet that mall guard will be happy to see you. You can count on us for help if you ever need a clean pair of socks. 
Alright, it feels like we dealt with the bulk of the puzzles here. Let's see if there's anything remaining or if uh, it's game set and match at Grubby Corners. Look, everyone wants to get in the mall today. I have to enforce the rules or it would be pandemonium. This is an orderly mall. That's not Even my favorite DDR like song. You... Shut up and let me in. Here are my socks. Not so fast. Hold it right there, Buster. Yes. I want to see your shirt. Hello! And shoes. And you better have socks, too. Hello, officer. Howdy, officer. Hmm. Shirt, shoes, socks. Well, kid, it looks like you're in total compliance with our dress code. You're a good citizen. Enjoy your shopping experience. Yes, sir. Are we there yet? We're here! Inside the Grubby Corners Mall! Hooray! It's shopping time. I can shop for a lint brush. Thanks for the lift, Sam. We're off to shop. See you later. Bye! Welcome to Leavings and Squeezins, the fabulous house of pizza. Do you want to see a menu? No, thanks. I'm just browsing. The chicken fried jellyfish is great today. Set yourself down and order something. Pickled tomatoes are nice and ripe. Why don't you try some? <laughs> yeah, I'd run away from there as well. Uh, okay. Excuse me. Do you mind if I cut in ahead of you? No way! I've been waiting all day to see Dr. Grime, and I ain't giving up my place for nobody. Why do you want to see Dr. Grime? Because, you know, he's Dr. Grime. He's the grimiest. Oh. There's a trading card. Clementine is the milkman's favorite cow. She was abducted by aliens in issue number five. The cow flew over the moon. When she returned to Earth, her milk had strange powers, much to Milkman's surprise. Favorite color, grass green. All right, we're pretty much done with the uh, cards, which tends to mean nearing on the end of the game. And yeah, there is something dangerously wrong with this straw. And it's not really wanting to speak, it's just Twitching. Don't touch. Don't touch what? They didn't tell me what not to let you touch, so I'm telling you not to touch anything. I'm the hall monitor, and I'm supposed to keep you in line. In line for what? All the kids want to meet some guy named Dr. Grime. They probably want to touch stuff with their grubby little hands, too. Who is this Dr. Grime, anyway? He's Pajama Man's arch enemy. Who's Pajama Man? Who's Pajama Man? Sheesh. Sorry, I don't have time for chit chat right now. Are you going to get in line or are you going to just stand there? That line looks really long. A lot of kids want to see Dr. Grunt, which is weird when they think about it. Yeah, kids these days, I don't get them. They'll wait in line for hours to see a bad guy. I hope you're not here to see Dr. Grime. I just want to get my Pajama Man comic book back. Frankly, I've never understood comic books. Don't have really any leads to go on other than perhaps ordering something at Leavens and Squeezins. It says, Leavens and Squeezins. Huh, that's a funny name. Oh god, that's nasty, but that's a spatula in there. Another car! In charge of this place. But what do I do? It's not letting me get up on any of the seats, even though this guy tells me to. What? What'll this 
discriminating young gourmet have? I'm not hungry anymore. Thank you. And what'll this discriminating young gourmet have? I'm not... Yeah, this is the only place that I can see to mess around with, and... Nothing to do here? That seems awfully suspicious in itself. The deep fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches are fit for a king. Won't you try one? Can't I? And what'll this discriminating young gourmet have? I'm not hungry. Well, if there's nothing to do there. There is, however, a card. Ooh, a pajama man trading card. Huh, all bar one. It makes sense for me just to miss one, but uh, but yeah, what am I meant to do here? Exiting is probably not the way forward. No. Ah, right. We'll just skip the lot. Oh. Hang on, Bob. You need a special prize winner pass if you want to skip waiting in line. Where can I get one? Try the local greasy spoon, kid. Greasy spoon? The chow house, the feed bag, the diner, the place where the food is. Oh, you mean I can get a special prize winner pass at the local restaurant? You catch on quick. There's a place called Greasy Spoon uh, here in Stockholm. It's about the only... Only place rated worth eating. Ooh! We win. Congratulations, sir. You are our lucky 30th customer. Yay! What do I win? You win this fantastical special prize winner pass. Oh, boy! Just what I wanted. It is a great honor to win this prize. It is printed on durable paper and is sure to bring you hours of fun for years to come. Enjoy your special prize winner pass. Yeah, the delivery of every line in this game just feels like somebody, uh, everyone's first take, but they've been told to be as unenthused as possible. In any case, let's get on through. Well, why didn't you say you had a special prize winner pass? You're special and you're a prize winner, so you can pass. Please go to the head of the line immediately. Hey, look! It's Dr. Grime! Huh? What? Where? Look! It's Dr. Grime! Dr. Grime, will you shine my hanky? Will you shine my underwear? I'm not Dr. Grime! I'm Pajama Sam! Hey, keep that line straight. Dr. Grime! Dr. Grime! I said I'm not Dr. Grime! Hey, no touching! Dr. Grime! Yikes! <sighs> there it is! Issue number one, I found you at last! Holy cow! How did I get so dirty today? I'm as dirty as Dr. Grime? Maybe dirtier! No wonder those kids thought I was him! I need to clean myself up. I can't get past those kids while I look like Dr. Grime. Also, I don't want to handle my comic book while I'm all dirty. Or it'll get all dirty. I wonder if there's anything I can wash with here. This room doesn't have a sink. It looks like the only way I could get some water is from that fire sprinkler up there. Ah, I speak I my language, like Sam. That sprinkler to turn on, it would wash me right off. I see what this you're saying. This is pajama man number one from getting wet. Right, let's get igniting. If we just throw the uh, lamp on the ground, no. Uh... Who 
Who's there? I'm your friendly local humans and squeezins delivery person. Does Dr. Grime want anything? Not right now, thank you. Okay, I'll just leave this menu in case you change your mind. You say menu, I hear kindling. This isn't a very fancy menu. I can only order four different things. Cold, 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 or hot. We want that hot one. Eggs? Iced bacon? Or hot cocoa? Iced bacon, Yeah, I, I, I get it. No, 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 not... I... Get me the hot cocoa. One humongous hot cocoa, please. Who is it? Your favorite leavings and squeezing delivery person with your order. Thank you. Enjoy your fine food with our compliments. You have excellent taste. Have a nice day, sir. This hot cocoa lives up to its name. It's really hot. In fact, it's too hot to drink right now. <laughs> right, let's see if we can't use it on this somehow. If I threw this hot cocoa from here, it would make a real mess. I need to get closer. Just barely squeeze in there. This is a tight squeeze. I'm a round boy in a square duct. I better suck in my tummy. Ta da! Alright, get to work, Samuel. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't be doing this. And I certainly wouldn't advise any of my friends to do this. I hope this is hot enough. Yay! I'm clean! Now I can get my comet. What's this? Water is falling from the sky. It feels so good to be clean. Hey, no splash. Dr. Grime? Who are you? I am the squeaky clean hero, Pajama Sam. Today, I came dangerously close to turning dirty. But from today on, I shall fight the forces of dirt and strive for cleanliness in all that I do. Kid, you're a good citizen. Well, I learned one thing. From now on, I'm going to keep my room more picked up so I won't lose anything else this important. And if I do, it will sure be easier to find it. I'm going to be just like Pajama Man and keep the forces of grime at bay. Hey, is that a rare Pajama Man issue number one? Yes, indeed. It is the very rare Pajama Man issue number one in mint condition in its plastic bag. Today, I was going to take it to get it autographed by Pajama Man himself, and... Oh my gosh! I almost forgot about that! I gotta hurry and meet him before he's gone! Come on! <laughs> Wait for me! Truly the end of an era, this game, and what a terrible way to end it. I'm not saying this game was really that bad, but as a follow-up to three amazing Pajama Sam games, it was incredibly disappointing. I don't mind the change of voices so much, but every uh, 
every VA delivery was just so lost, so lacking in heart and really any real emotion at all other than uh, disdain and dismay. Uh, yeah, nothing in this game was up to uh, the dizzying high par that is the Pajama Man series. So I'm glad I started with number... Yeah, I started with three, right? Three, then one, then two, then four. And play a... Yeah, didn't play them in order at all. Which is just as well, because I wouldn't have stuck around with a four if I'd started with uh, with this one. Is this the last game in the series? Asks Hunter1 underscore two. As far as I'm aware, yes. And uh, now I want to read up on the story of how this turned out as bad as it did. Okay, I think I think we've seen all we need to see here. Any extras Would to this like though? Would you like to restart the game? Not really, but let's say yes anyway. Atari. <laughs> Looks like there are three capes. Doesn't doesn't it? It's red, but it's not my cape. It was this that was his cape last time, but... Yippee! I found my cape! Is that so? Can't click Stop. on the song. Ah, maybe I can after we hear your story. How do you want... Song. Okay, just replays this again. Stop games. Games. Oh, okay, there's the climbing game and then there's the match three game. Both were pretty dire. Yeah, pretty dire. That sums it up. Jake, will you play Putt Putt now? Well, no, not now. Not saying it won't ever happen, but I do now have all the humongous games bundle thanks to Humble Bundle. Hmm. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to can it for the streaming for today. We've been streaming for several hours, actually. Jings, the evening's really crept up on us. I believe uh, Aristo or true leveler as he's going now by some for some reason is uh, gearing up to stream some draken so if you hang around that'll no doubt appear on the channel but for me for now that is uh, cheers and for all of pajama man games cheerio song a sock out on his own is like a sea without a shore and cause I got some mud on me, I can't get in my drawer. A sock out on his own is just one out of a pair. I miss my matching sock so bad it fills me with despair. They say there's no place for me amongst the clean because I'm dirty. I know none of them can see inside. Having a little dirt on you is not such a bad thing, is it? Inside my heart is truly free from dirt and filth and food debris. But what good is a spotless heart when we are a pair apart? We're all pairs, we're all pairs. We'll always be together. The world is fine, the world is fine. The sun will shine forever in the sky. We're all alone. It's strange to see. We guess it must deserve to be. To be part of a pair. Together more than home. They say there's no place for me. I'm so clean because I'm dirty. I know none of them can see inside. Inside my heart is truly free from dirt and filth and food debris. But what good is a spotless heart when we're a pair?